Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us write a Java 8 program to find the age of a person if the birthday date has given. So here we have a Java project. So within that, let's create a Java program. So here just create a new class over here and let us give class name as calculate age. And within this class, let's create a main method. Well, the execution of the Java program starts from main method. So let us have main method over here. Within this main method, let's create a scanner class object to read the input from the user. So here, let me write the comment, creating a scanner object to read the user input. Well, basically we create a scanner class object to read the user input. And after using it, we close the scanner class object by using close method, right? So basically we have a try with resource statement that will automatically close the scanner class object after using it. All right. So here let us use try with resource statement to automatically close the scanner class object. So this is the syntax for try with resource statement. And here within a parenthesis, just create an instance of scanner class. So scanner scanner equal to new scanner and then pass system dot in as a you know parameter to the constructor next within a try block let us use scanner class object to read the user input well before that we need to prompt the message to the user to enter the you know birthday date right so for that let's put the system dot or print ln. so here is a shortcut just type yes o u t and hit enter this will give system dot or print ln in an integer idea next here just add the string enter your birthday date and you should provide the birthday date in this format year followed by month and then followed by date okay next let us use scanner object it has next line method to read the string from the user next this next line method returns string so let us take the result into local variable of type string over here and just call it as birthday date string now we got the birthday date in a string format next let us parse this string into a local date so here just call a local date so this local date is a class from java.time package and this local date class was basically introduced in java 8 so just call this class it has a static method parse Okay, notice here parse method takes a sequence of characters that is string. So just call this parse method and then pass birthday date string. Next, this parse method returns a local date. You can see here. So here, let us introduce a local date and let us give the variable name as birthday date. Okay, now we have converted a birthday date which is in a string format into a birthday date object next in order to find the age of a person we have to get the current date so here let me write the comment get the current date so we can get the current date by using local date class so just call local date class it has a now method so this now method returns a current local date so just call this method and let us take the result into a local variable of type local date and let's give the variable name as current date okay perfect now we got a birthday date as well as the current date next let us find the age so in order to find the age we have to find the period between these two dates so in order to do that we can use period class so here just call period class from java.time package so this period class was basically introduced in java 8 to find the difference or period between you know dates so just call this period class it has a between method and this between method takes a start date and end date okay and we can find the difference between these two dates so here just call the between method and then pass the birthday date as a first parameter and then current date as a second parameter and this between method returns a period okay so let us take the result of this between method into a local variable of type period and let's use local variable name as age. 
now we got the age in a period format next let us get the years from this period object so here just put the system dot println statement and then let us add the string you are and then followed by let us print the age in years so just call age and it has a get years method and then followed by just print the strings years old okay next let us go ahead and let's run the program and here let us enter the birthday date so here i'm going to enter my birthday date year and then followed by the month and then followed by the date okay so this is the format that we have to use to enter the birthday date next hit enter and here you can see you are 33 years old okay so this is how we can use the java 8 provided classes to find the age of a person if the birthday date has given okay next let us rerun the program again and let's find out the age of a different person so here just enter the age 1992 and then month 06 01 and hit enter you can see you are 32 years old all right so you can use this pro program and you can find your age by entering your birthday date all right perfect